Hey everybody, it's Steve, and I'm coming back to you today to do another crypto video. And this one is going to be a little different than my last few about the Binance Smart Chain and the games. I'm going to go to one that I've got a playlist about. If you want to check out how I've used BetFury to get some free crypto, you can check it out here. Now, a disclaimer for this, BetFury is a casino site with faucets and boxes that allow you to earn free crypto with the temptation to gamble it all away. If you somebody who has issues with gambling, you want to stay away from this site as it is a way, it is a casino and you can end up losing all of your money. But it, I got into it back when I was getting into Tron stuff. It ended up being my best returning project I looked at, but they have already branched out to be your, you can bet with Ethereum. And now because of the popularity of Binance, they're adding that. The reason why I like this site is because when you gamble with certain currencies, you earn a token that allows you to get money out of a staking pool they have on the site. So it's really one of those sites that's designed to be a low profit casino where a lot of the profits they make go into a pool that's then staked back to the people who are holding their staking token. They gamify that by allowing you to gamble with the staking token so that some people could gamble, lose all their money, then gamble all their staking tokens and lose all of those. And you will always lose if you decide to gamble. So I'm going to show you how you can use this site. Uh, and I've done this in these videos before to get some free BNB, multiply your BNB. And then if you decide to gamble with that free BNB, then you'll earn their staking tokens and then you'll get a slow drip back of a lot of different cryptocurrencies. Or if you're just looking for an online casino, then this might be for you too. And then I'm going to do a quick update on the different DeFi projects and the Binance Smart Chain that I've invested in. I've got some that had some good news over the last few days, and I have some that have had some bad news over the last few days. And I'm going to just show you all of that. And we all know that, uh, you know, the, the DeFi world, farming those coins, they go up, they go down. You got to kind of time when to get in and out of them. The one nice thing about the Binance Smart Chain is if you're really, is that you can get out of projects fairly quickly if you want to. And then I'll also tell you about uh, one other airdrop you can get involved in at the end of the video if you stick around. And that one isn't up on the screen yet, so you can't cheat. But <laughs> I'll, I'll pull it up. I'll explain it to you. It does involve um, a little bit more of a, you got to make a, you got to do something. I'll get to it at the end. So we're going to start off here by looking at the BetFury site. I will have a referral link into here. And if you do click on my referral link, you do help me out. It's a free way to help me out and you can get some free BNB. But be careful, like I said, do not, don't, if you invest in Gamble, just know you're doing that on your own. So they just launched BNB. So for the next three days and nine hours, they have this free BNB box where every, um, I got I don't know exactly how long it, it takes to click out, but you do a quick little captcha. Hopefully it's quick. Sometimes I get these ones wrong. So boat, I'm looking for boats. Let's see if I got it. I hit withdraw and they have a little video you can watch about their hot release of the Binance Smart Chain. It's, um, I, you know, if you want to learn more about it, you can. And then the, it just, and then it starts to refill. And so you see, you're going to be getting um, a decent amount, 0. 0.0022. So it's like, you know, a fee maybe on Binance. And you can keep claiming those, claiming those, claiming those. You can also get a Satoshi. When I first started on this site, they were giving away 25 Satoshis. The, it, it feels almost funny to do a CAPTCHA to get one Satoshi. I'm not going to lie. Um, but <laughs> it's here. I'm on the site, so I'll do it. Maybe you're on the site. You'll do it too. And you get a whole one Satoshi. Now I'm going to talk to you about their boxes. So they have these boxes. Oh, 0. 0.0015. Oh, look, I'm going to buy one right now to show you. So they release these. They have the smart box. They have the... Uh, digital box. This one's a special one that if you do it for 30 days, they'll give you a 100% return. I've been using these boxes to farm um, Bitcoin when I first got to the site because they had Bitcoin boxes. Then they lost Ethereum. So I have a couple of Ethereum boxes going and you can withdraw these whenever you want. I usually let them fill up before I withdraw uh, to the max amount, but I took out some ETH early in this one so that I could get into this Ethereum one. And it's the same thing. Like I might've took out some BNB to get, to get these ones up. I did deposit 
0, or 0.1 BNB into here, so I'd be able to take advantage of these boxes because they are free returns and the site is legitimate. I've done many withdrawals. I haven't had any problems like that. So when you buy the box, it just takes it out of your balance. It puts it into here. So I'll put that in. I'll get a 10% return on the 0.05, and it'll give me a box down here. And I will have to wait the 30 days to take it all out, but I'm checking this site every day to come and collect my free staking dividends, so I'm coming here anyways. So I just let these refill and eventually I take the money off the site. I only usually bet with uh, free money I've earned, and so that's kind of what my other videos are about. I'm not going to get a lot into that, but I'll tell you a little bit about how I farm my tokens. So let's go look at the staking pool. So the staking pool is right here. So as you can see, they have a lot of Bitcoin. They have a decent amount of Ethereum. Their BNB has been going up and up and up. So they got a nice stack of that now. They have a nice stack of Tron. They don't get as much USD uh, gambling here. And then they also have the BTT. So like I said, they were kind of a Tron shop before. So that's why these tokens are on the Tron network. And then you can do Ethereum, Bitcoin, and now BNB as well. So that's a kind of nice little bonus. You can see they give you an estimated payout if you had 100,000 of these tokens. You'd have to do a lot of gambling to get that. But if you're somebody who wants to do that a lot, you can see how the kind of income they say that you would get. These, this is how many tokens I have. So I currently have 1,500 of these tokens and uh, just under 400 of the Tron ones. I, I mostly farm these ones because they pay out a lot better in Bitcoin and in BNB and in, in Ethereum. But these ones pay out better in TRX and um, and, TT and BTT and I think, yeah, yeah, and on the USDT. Um, you have to gamble with Tron to earn these. You have to gamble with Ethereum, Bitcoin, or BNB to earn these ones. They talk about what you have to gamble with here uh, to, to earn these tokens and how much you have to gamble. So to earn one token, you have to bet 0 0.0016 BNB to be able to get a token. And so that's how you would get these staking tokens. Um, and then when you come in, you'll get your money that you get. So as you can see, this is what I get about for one day of uh, staking here. So I get a tenth of a TRX. I get 0 0.005 BNB, uh, 0.002 Ethereum, and about 231 Satoshis. So it's, this is a per day drip that I get for having 1,500 of those tokens. So you just hit withdraw, it puts it in there, and then you're good to go. Now they're doing a special promotion right now. This will only probably be for the amount of time that they're doing this three day box. So sorry, I maybe should have told you guys about this a little quicker if you want someone who wanted to come try to take advantage of this. But they have a special wheel that if you gamble with BNB right now, you can earn a spin to win up to 200 BNB. So for every 0.04 BNB you gamble, you get a spin. The spins can either win you the tokens that do the farming, or they can win you BNB. Now, obviously, most of, you're probably going to win this 0.003 BNB. <laughs> most of the time, if you do this spin, as you can see, that's what most people are winning. But if you're lucky, you might get some of these tokens. And, it, you know, it's just something to think about. Uh, one of the things you could do if you if you come here and you're pretty good at um, you know collecting this for a couple hours since you do get 2,000 uh, BNB Satoshis or whatever BNB Satoshis I don't know what people would call them you could then go gamble them because then when you play the games you have to the in-house games are the only ones I can play I can't play slots because I'm not allowed to but you can come here. You can, you can lower the BNB down all the way to, you know, 50 of them. And then you can try to try to just play the games and then you can try to earn a free spin. To be honest though, you're probably gonna have to do a bigger bet than that if you wanted to get those spins. You can, I'll let you play around and do the math and see if you wanna try to get figure out a way to get to that point four, uh, 0.4 to get a free spin or if you're somebody who's going to come in here and gamble with a lot of BNB This is you can just earn a whole bunch of spins. Look, there's somebody that got some of the tokens Here's somebody that won a little bit more The people are here doing this right now to be honest You'll probably lose or break even in the long run if you come and try to do this So I, I'm not suggesting you do that but I'm really just showing you a site that pretty you know it's an interesting site to get on if you're somebody who likes to just slowly collect some free things 
because they have a history of any of bringing in new currencies. So I could see DOT coming onto here when it's there. I could see an ADA currency being added once the ADA smart chain is up and running. And then they do these boxes. When they do that, they launch them. You can buy them and get guaranteed returns. And then you can use the faucets to just save up some free money over time and then gamble with it. And if you're somebody who makes content, they have a, a very generous referral program. So that's kind of one of the reasons why I, I have been talking about this because I can't monetize any other way. But anybody who wants to come and collect some free BNB and then try to get it out, you, you can look at it. I'll, I'll really show you, oops. Do, 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 oh, I have to, sorry. I do log in with my Tron link wallet. So I had to just authorize my wallet. I see, I got out of Tron. I don't really have any anymore. Sorry, Tron. <laughs> I got, I got, I, I did not have a good experience over there. So th now I can hit the withdrawal to show you. So on BNB, if you do a withdrawal, their minimum is 0 0.005. So this is what you would have to farm to, to get to it. And um, I, I have more than that because I did a deposit, but the fee is then 0 0.001. So you'd have to save up to 0.005 and then you'd get 0.004. Now on Binance Smart Chain, 0.004 would pay for a couple of your fees. And then you can do the math. If you're farming 0.002, you're gonna have to get this five times to get one. You're gonna have to claim it around 15 times, no. 25 times to be able to do a withdrawal. You can do that in the next few days if you're here, as you can see, just in the time that I've been doing this video of 11 minutes, this thing is already about halfway filled up. I think it's every 20. So if you're if you just leave this open in the background, every 20 minutes you come and claim your BNB, and then you get a little free amount. Um, if you're interested in the gambling and the strategies I've used to farm my tokens, check out my playlist on this. The, most of them show me gambling with satoshis because this is when they were giving out free satoshis but you would just replace that with the bnb tokens and use my strategies that i did there and that's how i've been able to farm myself up to this number of tokens without i i haven't lost really any money to this site i do have one advantage though when my referrals earn tokens i earn tokens so as you can see i have a little referral claim here to do and just for full transparency, so you'd know that you're not necessarily going to get 1,500 tokens, they have earned me 300 of them. And because they have been claiming and helping me get more free tokens, they did give me more money to use in my strategies that I have explained that got me even more. And as you can see, I do have 74 people that signed up, but not a lot of them are active in claiming. As you can see, it's really, it's, it's different. Some of the new people do. You have a lot of people that sign up and then just leave because they don't like it. I understand. It, it really depends on who you are. If if a little bit of crypto, free cryptocurrency is something you're interested in, or if you're somebody who's interested in gambling on a site that gives most of the returns back and has a cash back program. So if you're gambling and you lose any of these currencies, you earn back for, uh, well, when you're brand new, you're only going to earn back 2%. And then as you level up, you get more of it back. So it becomes a decent way to uh, get some staking tokens. They do plan to eventually allow people to purchase the staking tokens and trade them on an exchange according to their roadmap, but they haven't done that yet. I don't know when they are, so I'm not going to bank on that, but eventually I might just be able to sell these and who knows how much money a staking token is worth. Oh, one thing to just mention when I, um, when I told you about these prices, so the price goes up. So as soon as they have mined, um, this bar fills up the price goes up so it's a progressively going up token so it it's worth it if you think this is a site you'd like to get a stack of of tokens in to get in here and start earning them now now that's only if you can see the long-term vision of farming a whole bunch of the tokens having them sit there on the site and then coming back and claiming your dividends and you don't have to claim every day the staking things don't go away, so you could come and you could let this just pile up for a week or a month once you have your big stack and then come back and claim them all. You just might want to check in more often than that just to make sure the site is up to date. And if you're earning a lot in staking, you're going to be wanting to pull those off uh, just because, you know, they're, they've been a legitimate site. But anytime you're talking about a gambling site on the Internet, there's a chance they could get shut down or you could not be able to get to this anymore. I haven't had that problem 
but it's just something to know about. Okay, now I'm going to get into the updates on the different staking programs, uh, uh, the different Binance Smart Chain programs that I've kind of featured, and we're, we're going to start out with my winner. So this is the one I told you I got about. I got into when this coin was at five thousand dollars. I only put a little bit of money in it, and it's still been one of my more profitable coins. At this point, I put in 0.4 BNB. I've already sold enough coins to take out the 0.4 BNB. I really, really wish I would have put more money into this, but now I'm just going to show you what I've been doing on this site. I've been basically just coming, harvesting my rewards, and then I go over to their farm. Currently, I have a stake in this one that's at 3,000% uh, reward. So that's how I'm earning so many such big rewards on such a small amount of money. But they did start their safe program. So their safe program now, you can see they have some, this one right here, which is paying out this really, really crazy reward for the B-Swap BUSD. Uh, liquidity tokens and it's only got five hundred thousand dollars locked in there now obviously this would normally be pretty pretty dangerous to go in because if the token starts to go down in value then you're going to get a whole bunch of these tokens and in permanent loss is going to make you lose all your busd but what i can do since i just did my little claim is i can go to the vswap function and i can swap these for BUSD and I can swap basically a little bit more than half is what I want to swap. So since I have 0.0016, I'm gonna I'm gonna sell 0 0.0009, pick up 19 BUSDs. So I'll do a quick swap. And this is one of the great things about the Binance Smart Chain. The reason why I'm showing you guys this is because you can see each of my fees over here. They're very, very small. I just did a claim of a reward, a sell of half of that reward. And then I am going to pull that reward. So B swap BUSD. I'm going to agree to that. It's going to load it up for me. I'm going to do the max here. Huh. I think I sold too much on accident. <laughs> I didn't sell half of it. I sold almost all of it. But I'll fix, I'll fix that later. I'll, so basically what I would do, I don't want to waste any more time on the video, but normally I'm only supposed to sell half, but I sold 0 0.008. I mean nine here when I should have had the nine here. So I sold more than I meant to. So I'll probably just uh, throw the liquidity in tomorrow. But then I throw the liquidity in and then I put, I'm going to start putting it into here while this is at such a high rate and just keep growing this. Just don't make a mistake like me and put forget a zero. And then we're going to go look at pancake swap for an update on pancake swap uh, when pancake fell down to 11 i did a buy and i went ahead and increased my um my cake that i just have sitting here in the cake pool i might try moving this to the beefy finance or the auto pool because you earn a little bit more in those you earn your cake token and you earn their token but for now i just had them sitting here because i was kind of hoping to um move out of them because i thought pancake would do a bounce it's kind of stayed it's down 50 cents so it hasn't really gone anywhere and when you're earning this kind of return a small down like that is kind of easy to recover to as you can see they did launch some new pools for the bor pool the b open pool and they have a dodo pool those are all kind of newer as well as this one here they're all earning over a hundred percent so if you haven't been to pancake swap come check out the different syrup pools see if there's a token that is here that you're looking to earn and it's pretty easy to buy the cake token stake them and then earn that token or just compound your cake obviously besides there they have the pools they have the farms farms pay higher percentages but they're more dangerous an example of that is the farm that i am in on this one oops i forgot i can just click this one i'm in the dot bnb pool the, the percentage is down to 63 percent here 
And so I might be pulling out of this one. I'm earning pretty good. I've earned pretty good cake, but the rewards are kind of low now. And I've had some impermanent loss because of how much uh, BNB went up compared to when I first got in here. But it made me get some extra dot tokens and dot tokens aren't terrible. So I'm okay with that. All right, I just wanted to check time. Now we're gonna talk about auto farm. I'd say auto farm's been taking a, a, a beating. This token was up in the 3000 range. I mean the, the 10,000 range and has fallen down to the 3000 range. Um, they recently added some additional farms that I'm in. So I'm currently, I'm in a little bit in this egg BUSD one. I'm probably gonna put some more money into here because I accidentally sold that other token for those BUSD. So I wanna get them working. And then they've added Viking, and that's another one that I've talked to you guys a little bit about. And they've added B dollar. These are the more dangerous ones that have very, very high re returns of 2% a day, which is pretty wild. And then if you go back down to the regular ones, you can see they have their safer single, single pools. It just looks like a lot of people decided to go ahead and sell out of their auto token because this token has taken a big hit in the last few days. Uh, I, so one of the nice thing about auto though is the way they break it down is they pay you and I didn't understand this completely and I should have looked into it a little bit more. They pay you an APR on the regular token that you're doing. So you get a return on the USDT and then you also get a little bit of auto token. So your token grow your until you withdraw it, whatever you put in here just grows and grows and grows. And then when you and then you also earn a tiny bit of auto token that you can harvest. I think one of the problems is I, they need to, um, I don't know, there's no problem with this. I can't really understand why it dropped other than people just decided to take a whole bunch of profit. If anybody knows anything about why this one dropped down so hard, uh, let me know, I'd be interested. I'm, I haven't had time to research it um, because I'm not, I'm not in this one a lot. I haven't been farming a lot of auto, it just, it, it's not a site that I've used a ton. Now we're gonna to talk to you about goose. My golden goose eggs have taken a beating after a pretty crazy run, but now they're kind of where they were. Um, I got in at 20 bucks, so even at 50 bucks, I'm pretty happy and I'm still earning pretty good returns on this. I don't know why they fell apart so much, except for there's been a little bit of controversy in their telegram about the fact that their team is taking a 9% cut of certain uh, of some of their income that's coming in and they're they, they've defended it by they're using that to advertise goose and that's why goose has become um that like uh, it's listed on the popular projects list on the binance smart chain they've gotten some free listing on some different things and i'm going to stick with them as long as they can hold up around this 50 to 60 dollar range i might i'm not going to necessarily invest more money in them because i've already got a little stack of eggs and I don't know if I'll invest more unless they touch down a little bit lower, but it's a good project. I still like the way they're doing their nest where when you deposit funds, they take 4%. They use money from that percent. I always said they used about 90%. Well, I didn't just maybe say the other 10% goes to them, but they use 90% for the token buybacks. And they do have a lot of copies. They've talked about there's over 36 sites on, the, on a Binance Smart Chain that have copied their basic setup. The reason why I'm gonna stick with them is because they have this here and once it's live, I'll, I'll talk about it, but they're gonna do a layered farming. And the idea behind this is that you can come into their nest and you can see that right now you're only at 400% on eggs and you can come see their farm where they're paying a pretty good price on here around 900%. And um, they know people are chasing just crazy APYs. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna create a special pool and then you have to like kind of be first come first serve to get into that farm. And that farm is gonna have a guaranteed APY of a certain percentage. We'll have to see what percentage that is when it first goes in, but it's gonna be something like only the first, you know, X amount of liquidity that gets into this farm gets a guaranteed return of maybe, I don't know, a thousand percent. I'm just picking a number. And so you can, you can choose to go in there and you will know that no matter what, there, well, I guess it wouldn't be a thousand percent. I should say it'll be a guaranteed amount of eggs per per block will be dedicated to that pool so that no matter what you get that much egg. I know the APRs, they vary a little bit, not all because of the value of the token. So maybe it would be nice if some of them explain to you how much token you were getting um, 
so that you understood that a little bit more because this one looks like the APY fell down from 1300 to 1900, 900% only because the token fell from 120 to 55, $54. So it's something to, to remember that the APYs can go up and down dramatically with the price of a token. So it's just something we have to pay attention to. And then we're going to go ahead and take a quick look at Viking Swap. Viking Swap was a copy of Goose Swap that I said was pretty interesting. Now, one of the things that's pretty cool about this program is they ended up being able to, to get listed on auto, and they've been really working well with their community. And so now you can see their token is worth almost as much. or as, They're basically identical in value as Goose, even though they have less liquidity locked, which is kind of interesting. It might be because the token's a little bit older. So as you can see, there's only 200 and I mean newer. So there's only 229 of them. Whereas on Goose, there is been 620. They, they have their stats here. So there's more tokens. So they're at a 29 million market cap and Viking is only at a $12 million market cap because there's less of these tokens there. They also, as you can see, they're still paying higher percentages because their, their program's a little bit newer, and that might be why they're doing so well. Oops, did not mean to go to PancakeSwap. Now I'm going to show you a, a program that I got into, and I risked a 0.2 BNB in this one because it was shown to me, and I'm basically probably going to lose almost all of my BNB. I'm just going to let this sit here and, and stake at the time. It wasn't even 2 BNB. I bought... I bought two of their tokens when it first came out. It cost me a little less than two BNB and I staked them and I just wanted to see what would happen. They have this, they have an interesting burn feature on their site. So it was something new. So you can burn, you can burn these tokens. Uh, they're going to have eventually a 10% burn rate on them, which will help keep it from going up a lot. <coughs> Sorry about that. So if you, if you're going to, um, you know, try to change the game, you catch my eye. So I go, okay, you guys have an interesting new thing. You're going to be doing what they call melt. You're going to be burning a lot of the tax, the total supply, and maybe that'll get some people here. But as you can see, their locked liquidity is nothing. Their telegram is full of people that are yelling at them. They they don't really have really good thing going on anymore They're, so this is probably just going to disappear they haven't rug pulled us or anything like that it's just they haven't been able to get anybody to come over here and put uh, money in and maybe the 10 percent um burn is just too high for people they're not willing to give up that much of the token so they're staying away from it i could be wrong it could turn around i'm just gonna let it um, you know, I've made a lot of profit over here, so I'm just going to let that, that stake until I get a couple more tokens and see if that T TVL moves at all and anybody gets interested in this project again. Um, but so far, that's been my big loser. Now I'm going to talk to you about the airdrop that you can get. Um, this is only for people who get into it before March 1st. So, um, oh, I need to check something. Oh no, I might have missed my chance. <laughs> oh no. Yep, I was trying to get these top shot things and I was 15,000 in line when I started this video and somehow I got my spot and now I think I lost my spot. It appears that I cannot get back in line I don't know if any of you guys are into Top Shot, but now you could have a little chuckle at me because I missed my chance to buy a pack on the on today. But that's okay; it happens. <laughs> okay, so this. we'll get back. I know you're like you told us you were going to tell us about an airdrop. What are you doing? So let me just pull up the site. Okay, so IDEX has launched on BSC. 
So they now have a way for you to uh, use IDEX on BSC. Now, IDEX is kind of a weird platform in the fact that you have to deposit your funds to them, they hold them, and then you do your trading and then you take them out. So they work more like a traditional exchange than a DEX. Some people might not like that, but because they are now launching over here, they're going to do a bonus if you come and do your first trade. So you have to do one trade, then you can go ahead and get a, an airdrop. So they're going to be doing an airdrop of this many of their tokens to all the users who come and make a first trade. And you have to make that trade before um, March 1st. So you have today, today is the 27th, and you have tomorrow. You, to make a trade on here though, the one thing that I'm gonna tell you that slowed me down is you have to, if you're gonna be a buyer, you have to do a buy order of at least one BNB. So you have to put at least like say 1.2 BNB on here, do a buy order and buy something that you're willing to, to keep. And then you can do, you can turn around and dump it right away, but the spreads are kind of high. So then you might lose more money than the airdrop is worth. So it's kind of better if you buy something that you want. So if I take you to the trading platform, you can get an idea of what they have. So if you come here, they have a lot of different things. What I ended up doing is I, I bought some cake and then I went ahead and took that cake off the site and started, uh, started uh, staking the cake. Now, if there's something else here that you like more, then you can buy that token and then take it off. And basically you're just uh, would need to do like if you if you had a whole bunch of a token, you were willing to give up a little bit of it. You can play with the market, sell enough of it to get uh, over a BNB, put the BNB on here, rebuy the token, and take them both out. I don't know if the air, what the airdrop is going to be worth. I don't know how popular this exchange is really going to be, but it's an interesting thing. And if you want to check it out, I'll have a link to it in the description. And if you want to get the airdrop, you just have to come here and make one trade. And then they'll be giving you that, that bonus of some tokens, depending on how many people do this, you could be getting a pretty good amount or you might not be getting very much. The tokens are their normal tokens that give you some access to uh, their fees, to earning rewards and things like that. All right, guys, I'm going to end it here. I hope you, you know, like my little Bet Fury in intro. You kind of saw how I'm doing in the world of their uh, Binance Smart Chain. It's still been very profitable for me. But yeah, the amount of money I'm making has gone down a little bit as Goose has gone down. PancakeSwap has gone down. My little tiny stack of auto farm went down. But these are all tokens I farm for free. And I've been being very safe and using um, pretty safe assets to farm with. So overall, I'm up. And I'm feeling pretty good. I hope you all have a good day. Thanks. Goodbye.